Hey, what's going on guys? So today I'm pretty excited to show you a couple new things. Uh, first off, this is a package I got about a week ago or so, maybe a little bit longer, from Arena Knives. Now I was exposed to Arena, like a lot of new stuff, through Instagram. So thank you Instagram. Uh, scrolling along there and uh, saw something from their site, didn't know about them, never heard of them before. Then I actually had a viewer reach out to tell me about this after I saw it on the, uh, the site. And this is something I thought was really cool, especially since I just did a video talking about the, uh, the tech knives and the OTF utility blade. So it kind of gives it away. We have a utility blade balisong. This one is super, super cool. So with it closed here, all right, the Tang is actually a flathead screwdriver slash pry bar, if you, you know, feel so inclined. That's actually kind of cool and super handy. Plus we have the bottle opener latch. All right, which I really like as well. I actually first saw this uh, on an Atropos knife balisong. But uh, anyway, we have the utility blade. All right, so how cool is that? People have been asking for this for years. There was a, a Chinese model that I had, I wanna say literally 10 or 12 years ago. And ever since that video went up, I'm not even kidding, even today, at least once or twice a year, someone will reach out and comment on that. Hey, where can I get this? And I have no idea. That came from some Chinese website 12 years ago. It's long gone. Back then, these sites would pop up. They'd have a bunch of stuff, and then they, that's it. They just wouldn't be there anymore. The, the companies would cease to exist. This is super, super cool. So we have a pocket clip on here. This actually does flip quite smoothly. You can see the spring in there for our, our latch. All right, so if I squeeze that, it is a spring latch. All right, flips very nice. It's super smooth. And obviously we have utility blade on it. All right, so it says Arena Accessories. So this is, I guess, an in-house design, which is super cool. So I'm not sure offhand if this is even available outside of this company. The back is uh, sterile there. But not only that, we have the big brother here, all right, which is super cool. And this one, not only do we have utility holder, but with the wasted space, they decided not to waste it. We have the step down, um, you know, wrench, I guess, <laughs> the makeshift wrenches, right? Uh, but what's really, really cool about the Big Brother, and you can see these, these come with all kinds of accessories and stuff, is that we also get, we got blades, pouch, all kinds of stuff. But this is just gonna make it very cool, especially for the actual flippers out there. We get a live blade, all right? So if you, you know, you kind of like this, but then you want to switch over to actually flip it. You do actually get a regular live blade with this. Now, obviously, if you're as creative as I am, um, you realize quickly that you can use this as a trainer if you just take this blade out. All right, so if you just take the blade out, then you have somewhat of a, uh, a blade there for, you know, training purposes. You just want to, you know, get used to flipping it. Maybe you're new to flipping and stuff. Um, you know, you can certainly do that. Pocket clip on this one as well. Just a really interesting design. All right, so that was what I was kind of most excited about, but I did get some other things I thought was pretty cool. Uh, I did pick up two of the um, CRKT models. Both of these have the um, CRKT field strip technology. It's in the home front, if you remember the original home front. Very, very cool knives. All right, this one is the Slacker. This is a Ken Onion design. All right, so maybe do a video about that in the future. And also uh, another one of the field strip models. This one is the HVAS, H-V-A-S. All right, pretty interesting. I do have some thoughts on both of them, but we'll wait for the review for that. Then I saw this guy. This is a titanium utility knife holder, all right, which I thought was kind of cool. This is just really, really upscale. If you guys dig your like Lowe's or Home Depot folding utility knife, you know, a lot of them, a lot of those designs have like a liner lock. And by the way, as an aside, I have a bunch of utility knives that I was testing over the years. I mean, I literally had this idea to compare a bunch of utility knives more than a year ago, maybe even two years ago. I haven't forgotten. I still have them. Just kind of put that on the back burner. So eventually you will see a video of me comparing a bunch of those, you know, cheap ones from the hardware store and stuff. This is definitely an upscale version. Um, obviously we have a pocket clip on here, but we do have a titanium frame lock. This is called the flip out. All right, and again, this is kind of like a home or arena, um, you know, base design, I suppose, because it has their logo on there. But anyway, super smooth flipper design. 
just really, really nice. So if you're into not sharpening and you're just into utility blades, maybe use this for work or something. If you're ripping open cardboard boxes constantly or cutting plastic straps or whatever you're doing at work, um, and you just don't want to deal with any kind of blade to have to sharpen, I'm obviously, you know, utility knives are where it's at. Being that uh, Pennsylvania changed the law, I can carry the ballast songs, which is awesome. So big thumbs up with that. Definitely still been loving, again, the, uh, the Tech Knives OTF uh, utility blade. Um, just really, really cool option. Then I got these two, just out of curiosity. This is like the Baby Shark. This is a brass. It's not, I mean, it's kind of an OTF, but it's not automatic, all right? It's just a manual you push down, all right? Push all the way out and it locks out. Just an interesting little design I wanted to play around with. And then there's this guy, which was super cool as well. Same deal, push down, slide out. All right, it is not, even though, again, it's coming out the front, it's not an automatic knife. There's no spring in here. So you can see in there, it says D2, Schwing, S-C-H-W-I-N-G. And again, the Arena logo on there. Um, so yeah, I mean, if you can't have an automatic knife, like an OTF where you live, this is something that might be, you know, legal tone. You have to investigate that yourself, but I mean, there's no buttons or switches. You're literally pushing the blade out. No different than if you're rotating a manual folder out. So just an interesting design I want to check out. Now this one has a swedge. It is not sharpened on top. However, because of the design, you can absolutely do that. And I might even do that for this one. I'm not sure yet, but um, yeah, pretty, pretty cool. So yeah, that's all just a little bit of a teaser. I'm not gonna go into details on any of these specifically right now because they're still uh, new to me. The only thing I actually carried and used was this so far. But uh, I will, I did a little bit of flipping with the smaller one. I kind of prefer the smaller one. I just, oh man, I, I just love it. I love this. I love that little flathead pry bar thing. Just kind of cool. Um, I dig it. But yeah, just a little uh, teaser. I want you guys to tell me if you know about the company, you know, write your, your experiences down below, arena accessories. Um, what's kind of cool is that almost everything, I think everything did come with their own little pouch. Like even the CRKTs came with a, a branded pouch, which is kind of a nice bonus. So they're throwing in their own little accessories there. I think that's super cool. But anyway, that's all. So yeah, if you happen to use this dealer before, let me know in the comment section. Um, just a, a very cool option. I, I love, you know, checking out new things. And over the years, like I said, a lot of stuff comes from Instagram. You know, I see things on YouTube occasionally and people, you know, send me messages telling me about things. But when I'm just scrolling through Instagram, God, by following different knife people and following different companies, I get exposed to all this new stuff constantly. There's so much stuff out there I don't even know about. So, and I don't know, it's just kind of cool. Like I said, I mean, there's been plenty of knives and not just knives, other stuff too, all the silver things and, you know, different dealers uh, over the years. That, again, it's all because of Instagram. If it wasn't on there, I wouldn't know about any of it. So I thought this was kind of cool. So anyway, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have an awesome day, and I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.